Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Usually on my channel you will see the League 1 predictions for this weekend, but considering there's so many concerns over Bolton and Bury at this present time, I'm going to now let my League 1 predictions drop on Thursday with my Championship predictions. So now what will happen is, League 2 will go up, uh, like this week it went up on Tuesday. Um, my Premier League will then come up after that, and then my League 1 and my Championship will come up after. Um, and that way you get to hear my Premier League predictions a lot sooner as well. Um, but guys, you know what to do, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Southampton versus Manchester United. Southampton beating Brighton 2-0, uh, and, and on a red card for Brighton. Um, do I think Southampton deserve the three out of that game? I don't think so. I think a point would have been a fair result for both teams. But after Andone got sent off, Southampton, you know, they did create a few chances. Brighton only being down to 10 men. But I think Brighton um, did very well with 10 men for such a large period of time. United, on the other hand, um, losing 2 1 to Crystal Palace at home. Uh, I know a lot of United fans are not happy about that. Palace, the first three points of the season have got to be absolutely over the moon with that result. Um, you know, going to Old Trafford and basically turning United over. I've seen the highlights and I think Palace deserves the three points. Uh, you know, I mean, I didn't look... Like United should look. Palace obviously going to Old Trafford, not actually thinking of getting the three points, but absolutely over the moon that they did. Um, but United need to get back on track this weekend. With Southampton got their first three points against Brighton this weekend as well, but Southampton do find themselves in the bottom three as the Premier League table stands. So with this one, I'm going to call this one another shot, and I'm going to go with a 2-1 Southampton win. My next one is Chelsea versus Sheffield United. Chelsea, 3-2 winners at Norwich City. Uh, Frank Lampard's first win as Chelsea boss. Sheffield United losing 2-1 against Leicester. Now let's go back and talk about that Chelsea-Norwich result. Um, you know, first good three points for Frank and for Chelsea. Looks like Frank Lampard did take a bit of time to settle in. And I know it's only Norwich and a lot you're going to say, well, they should be doing better than that. But give Frank Lampard a bit of time. Um, but what I've seen of him and the highlights, I think Chelsea, you know, give it their transfer ban. I don't think they're going to do too badly this season. Sheffield United, on the other hand, 2-1 losers at home against Leicester City. Leicester probably is better to turn up and win that game, no disrespect to Sheffield United. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to the blue side of London and I'm going to go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Aston Villa. Now, I will speak about that main line result in just a bit. Um, Filler beating Everton 2-0 at, yeah, at Filler Park. Um, first three points, I think Filler played an absolute blinder on the Friday night football. I don't think Everton was expecting it, but I think Everton were poor during that 90 minutes. Um, but as I said, I want to go back to our Crystal Palace result just for a little bit. 2-1 um, at Old Trafford. That wasn't a result I was expected to see either. But it proves, yet again, just with that result alone, 
that small clubs could go to the big clubs and actually get a result. But, you know, 2 1 against Man United. I can imagine Palace fans are over the moon with that. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester City versus Bournemouth. As I just mentioned Leicester City not too long ago about the, when I spoke about the Sheffield United fixture. Bournemouth. 3-1 losers at home to Manchester City. I thought Bournemouth were one unlucky in that game, if I'm all honest. And, um, you know, you can't actually go... And I, I think actually Bournemouth deserve a point out of that game, and I'll go as far as that. I think Bournemouth were very, very unlucky. Let's go back to our, our Sheffield United result quickly. And let's talk about it from a Leicester perspective. Um, you know, Leicester going to Sheffield United, newly promoted Sheffield United, and getting a 2 1 win. Possibly got to be up here with that. If you're a Leicester fan, please feel free to put your comments below. Did you believe you were going to get that? Or, you know, what were you expecting? Um, but that goes for any fan. If you're any fan, got any comments, do feel free to put it down below. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call this one a Leicester win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Manchester City versus Brighton. Manchester City just mentioned 3-1 winners over Bournemouth at Bournemouth. Very lucky I thought Man City uh, to get that result. Brighton loses. 2-0 against Southampton at home. As I said, Andone's got the red card. He's got, I'm guessing, a three-match suspension for that uh, that foul. Um, but let's go and talk about a City result. I don't want to hit on the Brighton result too much because I've already want what I wanted to say. I've already said on the Southampton end. So let's go to that Man City game. 3-1 winners at Bournemouth. Man City fans were probably expecting it, but I do think they were a bit poor. Um, and as I've already said, Bournemouth, I think, were very unlucky not to get the point. Um, Brighton, I think after Andone got sent off, that mucked their system up badly. Um, but I did think Brighton did very well to hold on for 10 men for the time they did. And, you know, it's... VAR played its part again. But I'm supposed to go do that every week. Um, but as far as this one goes, I'm going to stick up for the blue side of Manchester. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. I'm not expecting Brighton to go up there. And get absolutely hammered. Um, you know, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, May City champion, blah, blah, blah. Look at Huddersfield in their first season in the Prem. Managed to hump Man City for 90 minutes. So let's not forget that. Um, my next one is Newcastle versus Watford. Newcastle 1 0 winners at Tottenham. Watford losing 3 1. At, at home to West Ham. Watford still pointless after three games. Newcastle quit to get off the mark at Tottenham. And yet again, this is another uh, game where, yours, where the top team was expected to go beat Newcastle. No disrespect to Newcastle. Um, but yet again, Newcastle turned out turned the, uh, Tottenham over. So... You know, it's one of them things, I think, in football. As I said, it's so hard to predict. Um, but let's talk about Watford for a bit. I don't want to talk about the West Ham side because West Ham's my next game coming up. Um, but let's go and talk about that result from the Watford end. Watford losing to Brighton in their first game, losing to Everton in their second game, losing to West Ham in their third game, and... No disrespect 
what they quickly became a dark horses from last season. They're nowhere near what they were last season. Absolutely nowhere near. I expect them to come out the blocks quick. They seem to be stuck on something that they just can't get off. It's, you know, one of them. I think it's got to be one of them seasons for you Watford fans. Um, Newcastle, I just want to go and hit this side on Newcastle quickly. 1-0 um, at Tottenham. And, a, you know, quick, quick, uh, quick thinking by their striker. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to call this one a Newcastle win. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 Newcastle win. The next one is West Ham versus Norwich. I've just mentioned about West Ham being my next game. Um, three one winners at Watford. Norwich losing 3-2 against Chelsea at, uh, at home. West Ham going to Watford probably weren't expected to get the three points if you're a West Ham fan because of how poor Watford were doing. Now Watford have seriously got to start looking to see where their first points are coming from. Norwich on the other hand were expected to lose against Chelsea, no disrespect to Norwich. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to West Ham and I'm going to go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Burnley versus Liverpool. Liverpool beating Arsenal 3-1 at home. Burnley 1-0 at, Wol at Wolverhampton. Burnley, you know, there's a very last minute penalty up at Wolves um, for the point. But I think Burnley deserve mostly all three rounds. So many chances, they're just going to put them away. Liverpool, on the other hand, probably expected to you know, beat Arsenal at home. They needed to keep winning to keep the pressure on City, and that's going into this weekend as well. So with this one, I'm going to give it to Liverpool, and I'm going to go for a 3-1 Liverpool win. My next one is Everton versus Wolverhampton. Just spoke about Wolverhampton. 1-0 against Burnley at home. Everton losing to Villa 2-0. Now, if Everton played like they did at, Ever at um, Villa, then I think Wolves have got a good chance of getting the three points out of this one. Uh, yeah, I ain't going to talk about that. Everton game from an Everton perspective because I can't I just think Everton were poor really poor when it came to that game um, Wolverhampton on the other hand last minute penalty VAR back the ref up you know to get that one on point Wolves are still looking for their first win in this Premier League season let's not forget that I think Wolves are going to get it and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Wolves win for that one my last one for this weekend, and it's probably the most best game I'm looking forward to across this weekend of football, Arsenal versus Tottenham. Now, no matter which part, actually, let's talk about the results first. As I've said, Liverpool lost, uh, not Liverpool, Arsenal lost 3-1 uh, to Liverpool at Liverpool. Talk about that in a minute. And Tottenham lost 1 0 to Newcastle. I've already mentioned that. Now, I know no matter which way I call this, because of the big rivalry, I know where it's going to be, you know. Um, but let's go to the results and then I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking about this fixture. Um, Arsenal losing to Liverpool 3 1. Also, I think they played okay. Um, I ain't going to knock it too much. Tottenham, that's the result that really does stand out for me. You know, Newcastle, I think they were bottom of the league when, before they went to Tottenham. Um, where do you go with that game? If you're a Tottenham fan, please tell me how you feel and... Are you looking forward to this uh, weekend's fixture going up against your 
uh, rivals. As I've said, I've just spoke about our Arsenal bet. Probably expected to lose up at Liverpool, considering where both teams are. But, which one am I going to call this result? Um, I'm going to, purely because I'm facts and money and everything else that's involved in football these days, I'm going to call this one a Tottenham win. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Tottenham win. Sorry, Arsenal fans. Um, but guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao, fam.